Alrighty, it's time for me to start propagating. If anybody want to stick along and watch how we propagate these airhead plants, I will show you how. Mwah, time to cut you back. Alright, this is an airhead plant. I'm going to cut it back. I'm going to show you how we cut it back. And then I'm going to propagate it. So, if you step in a little closer, I'll show you where to cut it. So, on this plant, all you really need on this plant is to be pretty. It needs cleaned up. It's growing way out of control. All you really need is, I'm going to cut it back to here. I might even take this piece off of it. But all I want to have left in the pot when I'm done is this part right here. And I may even transplant it into a bigger pot. There's a lot, of, there's a lot growing off of this thing. That's a lot of growth. So I'm just going to cut it back and I'm going to take it, take, take you out and show you, take you out and show you where we, uh, how we propagate it to make more of them. So in all honesty, it doesn't really matter where you cut it at. Just cut it so you can see what you got. I just use a pair of scissors, nothing fancy. So there, I can't speak for the camera lady, but to me, that's way better. But it still needs cleaned out, probably needs new dirt put in. So we'll probably, not this, not this evening, but we'll probably still take this out, maybe put it in a bigger pot and clean it up and make it look pretty. Because it still looks pretty ratty, but I'm not going to take the time right now to go through all these all these dead leaves and pull them out. But it needs repotted. So we'll do that sometime. Um, and this pile that's here on the floor, I'll just take it out and... I'll take it out to the greenhouse and show you how we uh, propagate. All right, so we just got some small pots. I think these are four and a half inch pots. We're just gonna put regular old potting mix in them. Don't need to fill them all the way up, just part way. So I'm gonna uh, fill these up, then water them good. I'm gonna do 20. I probably could make 100 out of that, but I'm not gonna make that many. I'm gonna do 20. Fill them up as you just seen me do. Now I need to water. Get this soil it needs to be pretty wet. So these flats I put them in, they're they'll I can water them from the bottom. So that's what I'll do when I get them propagated. Once I get them in there, but I need to get them watered in good. So you just put a little bit in because as all as you all know, potting soil is fairly hydrophobic when you first put it in a in a pot. Hydrophobic, that's just don't want to take up water. You got to water it several times before it'll absorb.
So when I got done, I'll just start back over again because they're these over here went through it already. And this here potting mix, it's just regular old pot mix. It's it's um pro mix, which is what we normally use. We buy it in a great big tote. Here is one that's cut. And all these, let me put my scissors down. All these little things on here is actually roots. You see me cut these in the house. They're actually roots. All those little tendrils. They will they will be root nodes. So when you propagate something that has no roots, lots of green. This one here, this leaf here is more yellow than the rest of them. So that one there, we'll get rid of just because it's yellower. Yellower, like that's even a word, more yellow. You just take your scissors and cut it off. And then these three, just snip them off. No big no big deal on how you cut them on it on this particular plant a lot of plants and i'll show you i'll show you some other time a lot of plants you got to be kind of particular on how you cut them to get them to propagate and this that right there will make a good healthy plant um so that's that's all you got to do to the, to what i got laying here you could probably in all honesty you could probably make a hundred out of that pal but not that i'm gonna i'm gonna make 20. um so all those are those are actually already roots if this if this was in the tropics where it natively came from all these little vines that would lay on the ground they would actually take off it would take over the world probably um if they grew around here i'd put some in some flower beds just to get rid of some weeds these are way prettier than weeds but they won't grow around here so just so once you get them cut like this let me get around here where you can see but when you get when you get this cut off like i just showed you this, this the soil's pretty moist so you just a lot of times depending on what i'm doing i'll put a stick down there and wobble it around because i want to get more roots this in here i'm actually going to cut off a little shorter and for now i'm just putting them in these little pots like i said earlier just little pots because until they get some roots and get established and i'll up them so just do that cut it off so it's about that long you got one two three four five six seven you got seven good root, root nodes on there plus this this in here i'm gonna actually break it off it felt pretty dried out already um so you just shove it down in the soil you just pack it in pretty well and these i'll i'll fill that up on up with soil then when i'm done um i'll fill it up the soil probably to about where that i don't know if anybody's noticed but there's a little little ledge inside them pots Never, you never really want to fill your pots fuller than where that ledge is. So that le where that ledge is, that's for when you water it, it don't overflow. That's the dirt line, what that's for. Um, just a little tip. So I'll fill these up to here, and then I'll water them good. And then uh, I'll just take them in the house and put them put them under grow lights, keep them nice and warm till we open. Well, till we open the greenhouse, which will be February. Then we'll probably bring them out. Till then, they'll have roots and they'll start looking good. All you got to do for it, even, even ones like this, it's a big knot, just see where you want to cut of that. Right there's a lot on that one, so actually it just broke. So that's, that makes it even easier. It just broke on its own, so it wants to go right there. So these two, uh, maybe not this one. I'll let this one on, but this in here, I'll just cut it off. And then that one there is dried up. Them, there's, them root nodes there is pretty good. This leaf here, it's, it's dead and dried off. All those feel pretty good and moist, so then just, like I did in the other one, just shove it down in. You don't need no rooting hormone or nothing. These things will root pretty good. I'm gonna have 20 pretty nice ones when we open in April, so. So we're gonna go through, and me, me and the wife is gonna go through and cut these up and just start propagating, so.
you just watched us do i did one tray it's getting kind of dark out here so i'm gonna turn the camera off for now but i wanted to show you one thing before i turned it off and i'll finish up in the house where where we put these when we're done um this this one here the bottom part of it looks really good it's got a lot of nice roots But the leaves, that one there is curled. It's got brown spots on it. This one here is not curled, but it's got some big spots on it. This one here is the same way. It's not curled, but it's got some big brown spots on it. Unless I need this to make 20, I won't use it. Um, Yes, it would live. I'm sure it would live, and I'm sure... I'm sure after a few months, you could probably prune them off and make a pretty plant out of it. Um, but you don't want to start with stuff that looks like that. You want you want stuff that looks you want stuff that's green like that. That's what you want. You want three or four leaves like this on plants that have roots. Other plants that you propagate, you'll want less than that. Most plants you propagate won't have roots on, but I'll explain those some other time when I start propagating some of them other plants. Um, and they're mostly perennials I'm talking about, not not house plants. A lot of them you can just stick in water. Um, so you want to make sure you have good green leaves on anything you propagate, whether that's an apple tree or whatever. You want to have good, healthy plants to start with. You don't want to start with crap or you'll end up with crap. So I didn't get to put them where I wanted to. They're too tall. They're too tall to put under our very light, so I need to figure something out. Um, I probably won't figure out this evening. We're gonna leave in here shortly to go meet my sister and brother-in-law at, at a local restaurant for supper. So um, I'll, probably, I'll probably show you some other time how where we're gonna put them at. We're just gonna bring a table in from outside and put it up in one of the rooms, back where we're actually back in the room where this plant was, um, is where we're gonna end up putting them. Right now, they're just going to sit on the dinner table, so, yeah, we ain't got nowhere to put them right now. I thought they'd fit underneath the gray lights, but they won't. Um, so, any anytime you propagate, anytime you propagate a plant, you need to make sure they don't have no roots. It ain't got no way to take water up, up through it yet, right? So, you got to make sure the, the soil needs to stay moist, but you also need to water the leaves with just a spray ball, just mist them. Of course, the mister don't work. There we go, just need to prime it up. Just mist them. You mist underneath too, you can put mist the underside of the leaves. You don't have to, I usually don't, but you can. Um, I just, I just mist them like that, and if it hits the top side, it's the top side, it's the bottom side, it's the bottom side. It really doesn't matter at all, honestly. That's how it'll take water up until the roots get, until the roots actually start growing. Like I showed you in that, earlier in them clips, them little nodes will actually are actually roots. They just so they haven't been out in the atmosphere. They hadn't been in the ground, so they'll be a little while before they actually form and start pulling nutrients and moisture out of the soil. So a lot of people when they propagate plants always put a plastic dome over top of them. I've never done that. Um, main reason I never is because you get take a chance on mold grow and I don't I don't think that's not just wiping water off from a mister um I don't like the idea of doing that because it it um it gets moldy and it also also too when you take the humidity tent off of it you got to do it a little bit at a time otherwise otherwise they'll uh it, they'll give it a shock because they're used to all that moisture then all of a sudden you just take it away and then they, they can't they can't survive through that they'll survive better the way i do it than that way or at least they always did for me um doesn't mean that's the only way but that's that's for me this works better and it doesn't matter if it's this or a or a tree or whatever i've always did it this way i shouldn't say always i've done it i've done it other ways but i've always had better luck doing it this way than than the other way mainly i think that's mainly because of because of mold issues 
And also you put them in shock when you take the humidity tent off of them. So I, I like to do it this way. Um, so yeah, and there, I got some more, more plants I want to propagate. There's, I got a prayer plant I'm going to do. Um, for now, in house plants, that's all. Um, I'll show you how we do the prayer plants too. That'll be probably, it'll be, it'll be coming soon. Um, I did these last year. I did 17 of them. I did them in February, and they weren't quite ready to sell whenever we opened up in April. Um, so this year I'm doing, today's December, Wednesday, December 29th is today's date. So I'm going to keep track and see how they do this this way. Next year, I, I probably won't have any to propagate next year way, as much as I cut that back, So which is fine. I don't, I don't want the same plants every year anyways because people get tired of them. They won't buy them. Um, but... Anyway, I'll show you these as they progress. I'll keep I'll keep bringing you back to them, updating on this. So you'll see these three or four more times at least before they get into bigger pots and they get put out in the, in the greenhouse. So and we'll open the greenhouse up in uh, February. I'm not sure exactly the date, but it'll be mid to late February sometime. I can't remember exactly when when our first batch of plants are coming. Um, but that's when we'll open it up, and now I'll show you that too. So. Um, I need to get stuff to put the hanger baskets up and other things in there too like I told you in the previous video but anyway for an act now that's how we propagate arrowhead plants and you can do pothos and a bunch of others the same exact way they're the same way um but anyways that's how we do those I'll, I'll show you some other ones later um but till we meet again take care and god bless